Okay, so welcome back. In my previous video, we have registered our user successfully. And now in this video, I want to uh, return a JSON Web token or JWT token uh, whenever we register a user or login a user. Okay, so to do that, I simply go to back to my user model. And here, after encrypting the password, I add here a method. So that is, so let me type here first of all, return uh, JSON or so we type here JWT token like that and I simply type here user schema dot methods dot let's type here get get JWT token and that is going to be a function so function in that I simply type here return JWT. Let's first of all import JWT here. Const JWT equals to require that is JSON web token. All right, so JSON web token, and after that I simply go back and type here JWT dot sign, and in the sign we first of all have to pass the payload that what we want to store as payload in the token. All right so definitely we want to store the id of the user id and that is going to be this dot id so this dot id will be the id of that user we want to store the id as payload in the token and after that we have to pass here the jwt secret so i have to specify my jwt secret in the config file so some type here process dot env dot jwt secret and then I have to pass up object here and I have to simply type here expires expires in that when we have to expire this token so again I type here process dot env dot jwt uh, jwt expires time So JWT expires time and that's it. Let's save it, go to our config file and in that I simply type here uh, JWT secret and let's type here some gibberish content. Make sure that your string is strong like this and also specify here JWT underscore expires time and that is seven days so i want to expire my token after seven days okay simply save it now if i go back to my uh, users we are we are fine here now i can simply go back to my auth controller and after here i can simply call const token equals to user dot uh, get j w t token okay then you have to simply pass that token inside here instead of the user and we type here token so we save it and now if we go back to my postman and let's delete our previous user so delete it click on send now you can see that we get back our token here okay so we have successfully uh, generated our JWT token and assigned that token to the user okay in the next video i will show you that how we can log in into our application okay and return the token so i will see you in the next video